Hello everybody, this is Dr. Imran and welcome to ECEP channel. I am going to present to you another important lecture of the course Electrical Engineering Fundamentals. And in this lecture, I will describe about the voltage sources connected in series and the current sources connected in series along with some related examples. I recommend to refer to lecture 4 and 5 of this course which describe the Kirchhoff voltage law and Kirchhoff current law which are the prerequisites for this lecture. So let's watch this video. The voltage sources connected in series or the voltage sources in series. So we consider uh, this uh, circuit in order to understand about uh, the voltage sources connected in series. Uh, this figure consists of uh, three voltage sources V1, V2 and uh, V3 and all of the three voltage sources are connected in series. So what uh, actually the series connection mean? We consider the two voltage sources V1 and V2 and uh, let's suppose uh, these two are connected to this uh, one common point or node N. And let's consider about V2 and V3. Uh, these two voltage sources are also connected to a common point on node N. And uh, it is clearly shown that uh, V1 and V2 are connected to this common point N and V2 and V3 are connected to this common point N. There are no other circuit element or voltage sources connected to this common point N and also, there are no other circuit element or sources connected to this common point N. Uh, if uh, V1 and V2 voltage sources have a common point or node N and if no any other voltage source or circuit element is connected to this common point N, then V1 and V2 will be connected in series. Similarly, if uh, V2 and V3 sources are connected to this common point N and if no other voltage source or circuit element is connected to this common point N, then V2 and V3 voltage sources will be said to be connected in series. And for instance, if uh, there is uh, another voltage source with polarity plus and minus and connected to this common point N, it will mean that V1 and V2 will not be connected in series. It is because there will be another voltage source connected to this common point N and v1 and v2 will be connected in parallel in this case if we consider about the, this node and if we uh, connect another voltage source for example this with this uh, common point n so it means that uh, uh, with this common point n there will be another voltage source connected and in this case v2 and v3 will not be connected in series anymore it is because there will be another voltage source connected to this common point n so let's remove this uh, two and try to understand uh, once again about uh, the series combination of V1, V2 and V3. It is clear that V1 and V2 voltage sources are connected to this common point N and no any other circuit element is connected, hence these two are connected in series. V2 and V3 are connected to this common point N and no any other circuit element is connected to this common point and hence V2 and V3 are connected in series. If there are several voltage sources connected in series, then these several voltage sources which are connected in series may be replaced by an equivalent voltage source having a voltage equal to the algebraic sum of the individual sources. We can convert uh, these three voltage sources into a single equivalent voltage source as shown here. And uh, the voltage of this equivalent source will be the algebraic sum of the of uh, these individual voltage sources V1, V2 and V3 and this is shown by this equation. You can see that plus of uh, V2 is connected to minus of V1. So the voltages of these two voltage sources will add up while you can see that minus of V3 is connected to minus of V2 so the voltage of V3 will be subtracted from the combined voltage of V1 and V2. This idea is really important and uh, we will use uh, this uh, idea in our upcoming uh, topics uh, in circuit analysis.
We consider an example in order to further elaborate about voltage sources connected in series. Determine the current I in the circuit of uh, this figure as uh, shown here. This uh, circuit consists of four voltage sources, the three voltage source, nine voltage source, five voltage source and one voltage source uh, while it has the series combination of two resistors, uh, 100 ohm resistor and 220 ohm resistor. It is shown here that a plus of three voltage source is connected to minus of nine, nine volt source while plus of nine volt source is connected to minus of five volt source while plus of five volt source is connected to plus of one voltage source. We first combine the voltage sources into a single equivalent voltage source as shown below by this expression. 3 volt plus 9 volt plus 5 volt minus 1 is equal to 16 volt. 16 volt is the equivalent voltage of all these four voltage sources. The voltages of three voltage sources, 3 volt source, 9 volt source and 5 volt source will be added up. It is because of their polarities while the voltage of this one voltage source will be subtracted from the combined uh, voltages of all these three. It is because of the polarity of the one voltage source with respect to five voltage source. Uh, this circuit is redrawn here as shown by the, uh, this circuit. It shows a, a 16 voltage which uh, came uh, from the combined voltages of uh, these uh, four voltage sources while a 100 ohm resistor and a 220 ohm resistor are the same. Using KVL then yields the current OI as shown below. 16 volt minus 100 I minus 220 I is equal to 0. 100 I is the voltage drop across this 100 ohm resistor, this one. 220i is the voltage drop across uh, this 220 ohm resistor. Hence from the above equation we can easily find current i which is equal to 16 volt over 320 ohm resistance and that is equal to 50 milli ampere. The parallel connected current sources. In order to understand about the parallel connected current sources we consider this circuit. Uh, it consists of uh, three current sources I1, I2 and I3 uh, while uh, the three current sources are connected uh, to these two common nodes for example this one is N1 and uh, this one is uh, N2. Because of the two common node this circuit is also called as a single node pair circuit consists of uh, three current sources. The parallel uh, current sources may also be combined by algebraically adding the individual currents and the order of the parallel elements may be rearranged as desired as shown by this equivalent current source. So how can we convert uh, the three current sources into a single equivalent uh, source? Uh, let's uh, apply Kirchhoff current law on the upper node here. The I1 will be the entering current while I2 will be the outgoing current and the uh, current of uh, this I3 uh, current source will be the entering current. Uh, once we uh, identify about uh, the living and uh, uh, entering current directions then we can easily apply Kirchhoff current law and that is shown here by this equation I1 minus I2 plus I3. I1 and I3 are the current entering to this node and that's why we write plus sign with I1 and I3 while I2 is the current living to this node and that's why we write minus sign with the I2. So we uh, successfully converted uh, the three uh, current sources connected in parallel into a single current source. This uh, concept is also very important. We will use this concept in our upcoming complex uh, circuit analysis problems. We consider an example in order to further elaborate about uh, the parallel connected current sources. Determine the voltage V in the circuit as shown by uh, this uh, figure. Uh, this uh, circuit uh, consists of uh, three current sources, 2.5 ampere current source, 2.5 ampere current source and a 3 ampere current source while it also has a parallel combination of two resistances 5 ohm and 5 ohm. 
the voltage V shown here with polarity plus and minus uh, is the node voltage of uh, the circuit and we need to find uh, this. This circuit is redrawn here uh, as shown by uh, this circuit in order to clearly identify about uh, the two nodes. This one is node N1 of this circuit and uh, this one is node 2 of uh, this circuit. So once we identify about the node, it is then easy to determine about the equivalent current source obtained from these three current sources. We identify about the current direction. The current direction of this current source is entering to the node and the current direction of this current source is leaving while the current direction of this current source is also leaving to this node. Once we identify about the entering and leaving directions of the current to the node, uh, we can uh, then uh, find uh, the equivalent uh, current force of uh, these three current sources as shown by this expression. 2.5 ampere minus 2.5 ampere minus 3 ampere is equal to minus 3. This expression shows that this 2.5 uh, ampere is the current of uh, this uh, current source entering to the node while this 2.5 ampere current is the current of uh, this current source living to the node. Uh, that's why we write a plus sign with this current and minus uh, sign with this current. Minus 3 ampere is the current of uh, this uh, current source. It's also living to the node. So that's why we write minus sign. So the equivalent uh, current obtained from these three, uh, from the currents of uh, these three current sources is minus 3 ampere. We can uh, redraw this circuit as shown here by uh, this circuit. Minus 3 ampere uh, current uh, source is the equivalent uh, current source, while uh, 5 ohm and 5 ohm resistances are uh, this one. We then solve the 5 ohm and 5 ohm resistances, convert that into a single uh, resistance, 2.5 ampere as shown by this expression. 5 into 5 over 5 plus 5 is equal to 2.5 ohm and uh, this circuit is redrawn here. Minus 3 ampere is now connected uh, in series to 2.5 ohm. And uh, this is the voltage V with uh, plus and minus sign. So once we know about uh, the current and uh, the resistance, uh, then uh, we can then find the voltage drop across this 2.5 ohm resistor. And uh, this will be actually the node voltage V. Using uh, the Ohm's law V is equal to IR, the node voltage uh, can be shown by this expression, minus 3 ampere into 2.5 is equal to minus uh, 7.5 volt. Minus sign is because of uh, the negative polarity of uh, this equivalent current source. This is the end of uh, this video. Make sure to subscribe, like and share this channel to receive the latest update about uh, the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.